Let's define first of all what kind of look the production company A24 created within the last few years. Like this scene, very interesting, very contrasty, very extreme, very colorful scenes which created this weird kind of different cinematic look which distinguished all of their movies from the competitors and created this new look which honestly I absolutely love. So today we're gonna learn how to create this very cinematic, very beautiful, very trendy look on a budget, kinda. <laughs> the main secrets on how to recreate this look on a budget is to use very limited lighting. I don't want to use a huge diffuse light like this one I have right here. You don't see in the frame. What I'm going to use is one tube light and one small RGB light. Everything else is composition, is understanding how to shoot and it's color grade. The other secret is to shoot most of the scenes shadow side. If you look at these movies, literally every single scene in every of these movies from A24 are almost all shot shadow side. It looks better, it adds contrast, it creates this nice 3D look and I try and tell you guys in almost every video now, shoot shadow side because it will look better. So this is what we're covering in this video and the sequences that I want to recreate are from some of the most unique films from A24. From Moonlight, for example, from Euphoria and I want to recreate something like from Euphoria with all of the colors, everything kind of like a bit of a look and then something from moonlight which literally looks like it's moonlit on a beach and then some scene from beef where you pretty much doesn't look like you have any lights even though they shot it with lights we're gonna learn how to create a color grade for each of this look there is kind of two ways you can do this we're gonna cover one for free and one using my favorite plugin that literally changed the way i color grade which is the answer because it's out of this world also, it's not sponsored by The Hunter. I just use it on a daily basis and I just love the product. For this whole video, exactly like this sequence, I'm gonna be shooting on the IRIX 45mm T1.5. I choose this lens because most of the movies that A24 creates and produces are very shallow depth of field shots. Everything, almost everything is shot on an anamorphic lens and I don't have access to that, unfortunately, yet, yet. But we're gonna use something similar and I thought a cine lens would work the best for this example. So as always, we're gonna shoot everything on my Sony A7S III. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. First sequence, I actually decided to shoot in this room and I wanted to recreate this very colorful, very extreme euphoria look. So what I did, I used my tube light and I actually stretched it because it becomes bigger. This light is, it's amazing. And I use this as a main light in the scene. So what I did, I put it on the floor, exactly in the middle of the room, and I used it inside a pillowcase to pretty much soften the light. And I put it to an extreme color, in this case, red, to match this scene from Euphoria. Then what I wanted to create, it's a bit of color and contrast. And as you can see, this room, looks over the kitchen. So I just put a little RGB light in the kitchen and I created contrast using blue because red and blue are contrasty colors. So it just looks nice. Then I wanted to add a bit of like practical light, a bit of a different look within the room to adapt and not only using camera movement to create interesting look to this actual scene, but also having a lot of practical lights all around the room from candles, from laptop screens, from TV screens. So I actually thought this was one of my favorite ideas because it came out very, very cool. And I'm very happy how everything kind of panned out. And the look that came out of this is insane. And it's something that makes me actually fall in love with filmmaking again, because it just, you know, you take a generic living room like this and you can transform it into an actual set just by being creative and using pretty much two lights. So, you know, there's not limit to creativity. So these two first sequences, I picked these two frames cause I think are the one that kind of the nicest one. So yeah, let's start from this one specifically because it's the one that has a nice color on her face. There's a lot of red stuff in there. So let's, uh, let's start with this one and create a look for free. So first thing first, I'm gonna create a bunch of nodes. I usually do this to start off because this is how I want to work. 
and then we're going to start from the last one i'm going to put our colors pose transform we're going to select sony let's come with three let's look three and then we are going to put rec 7 and 9 and gamma 2.4 here we go. So this is our CSD color space transform and this is from Rec 709. And this is like our footage looks like in Rec 709. What we're gonna do now is create a look. So the first one I'm gonna call primaries, the second turquoise. I'll explain everything in a second. The third one, color. The fourth one is gonna be our look. And then we're gonna go our mask. And then we're gonna have our halation and we're gonna have our grain very important to have grain remember this so first thing first i play around with our s curve and just creates something that kind of looks a bit nicer to look at so crash a bit those shadows just you know make it a nice look i'm gonna go into the turquoise and i like to go into the color warper and drag this down to pretty much have a nice turquoise to all of our image but that's obviously a bit too strong so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the gain and put it to 0 0.4 and i find that that usually creates this nice halo of turquoise on top of our footage then we're moving into the color the color here is where I adjust everything through the color warper and you can play around with the, pretty much anything you want here. In this case, I just want kind of this part of the image to be a bit more orangey. So I'm just gonna move with a more like less saturated, here we go. So our skin tones, see like without color and with color, our skin tones are kind of like super nice, but the red, it's still there beautiful then this is our look but we leave that for later then the mask here i usually just create a mask in the subject kind of face and what we're going to do here it's feather this out and just add a bit of a exposure and lift the shadow just a little bit just to create a bit more of a a nice glow from the phone on her face. Here we go. Then we're going to go into the halation and we just simply, oppa, we're simply gonna go into the library and type in halation. Here we go. I was spelling it wrong. <laughs> so halation adds a very intense halation to our shot, but that's not what we want. So you kind of have to adjust, as you can see here, the threshold and the normalization. So usually what I do is I go down here and I adjust the strength you can adjust the saturation a little bit. Usually around here looks good. Just the spread. See like if we go on Mel's hair, you can actually see the elation coming into place. See before and after. So I like to adjust a little bit of a spread and then bring down the saturation a little bit and then bring down the strength to kind of a level that it just looks nice and glowy. I think that's I think that's very cool. You can also see in her eyes. Maybe that's a little bit too much still, so bring that down a little bit more. Bring up the threshold. That looks nice. Then we're gonna go into grain, and we're gonna add our film grain. Usually here I just put 35 millimeter, and you can kind of pick the one that looks the best. Usually around like 0 0.5, 0 0.6 looks pretty nice. See, if we go like super close, like this part of the image, that's without grain, that's with grain. So this is already a pretty good look, but we're missing the main part of it, which is the actual look. So this is, if we select everything, here we go, that's before, that's after. That's already a pretty cool look, but it's not really what we're going for. So I want to create something a bit more contrasty, especially in our face. So the way I do this for free, it's simply using the primaries color wheel. So Let's just keep in mind that our mid-tones is our skin tone, so we don't want to play around with that too much, but we want to play around with the highlights and the shadows. So the shadows, usually, I like to bring the blue up, adjust the green a little bit so it doesn't get too 
weird bluey and then we can add or remove the, the red in this case i want to remove it a little bit and your image is going to start looking a bit weird but don't worry we can gonna fix that a bit later just kind of look at the shadow part of the image and see if you like that then in the midtones we're going to bring up a bit of warmed remove the blues from the midtones a little bit and see with our grain yeah it looks nice and then the highlights the last i usually like to increase for example the reds bring down the blue but not too much that we lose you know our details in our skin and we just lose our subject you know so this is actually that's actually pretty cool so that's before a look and that's after see how we kind of balance the image out especially in the corners and the shadows and everything looks a lot more natural right now so let's just copy and paste this one onto a different node and as you can see it works pretty well you would probably need to do a little bit like her skin over here it looks a bit too green so what i would do in this case i would just go into the primaries and kind of adjust the greenness of the skin yeah that looks pretty nice actually and yeah now we got our look this was the free mode let's go right into the paid mode so all i'm gonna do is gonna remove halation and grain and i'm gonna remove our look and everything else i'm just gonna kind of keep it there so we're gonna add one two more nodes actually just one node i don't need and we're gonna go into the enhancer the enhancer it's insane i absolutely love the enhancer drag and drop it and straight off the batch it is very intense so what i'd like to do is just remove the film for now go into the color grain and we're gonna use yeah that's good we're gonna go into custom adjust the grain amount by down like a little bit that's nice adulation again custom so you can adjust everything and that looks good and then we're gonna add some bloom i really like how the enhancer adds a very nice kind of bloom to it and also always remember as you see like the gray now is pretty bad so i like to remove the the chroma at all and just just bring down highlights and middles usually shadow i keep it very low as well we're still gonna rename this to the enhancer and now if we go back this is actually a pretty good look, but we're missing something. So what we're going to do is go up to the film and enable it. And here you can kind of like pull the film and kind of drag it away and stuff. So here you have so many different film stocks that you can use, but there is a few ones that are actually my favorite that I like to use, like a Kodak Paltra 160. It's amazing. The 400, it's beautiful. The Vision 3 200, it's usually very nice. So there's a lot of film you can play with. For this specific video, I think the 160 looks incredible. It adds this like nice kind of, I don't know, look to it. And you can also like pull it in each way that you like. Usually I don't really touch this and then I just go into the film compression and you can adjust the impact. You can adjust the impact of the actual compression of the film, white points and stuff, but yeah, there's um, so many tools that you can do, like this one, like actual exposure and stuff, but usually what I do, I just add the film and then I go back into my primaries. And here is where I play around with all of my colors, just to make sure that nothing is extremely pulled. That looks pretty good. So if you go without the answer, with the answer, and I think I'm pretty happy with this, to be honest, maybe a bit less, a bit more contrast. And then we can just copy and paste this one over here. And as you can see, this is with our initial grade and this is with the answer. I use the answers every single side of my color grading process, so I definitely recommend checking it out. Let's hop into scene number two. For scene number two, I wanted to recreate something like the vibe of Moonlight. And it was kind of 
you know, I wasn't really sure what to do first. I thought about a beach just to make it exactly the same. But then I kind of asked around and I actually decided to create this a bit of a different scene just using the same kind of effect. So what I did, called up a few friends, asked them to play paddle and I filmed a little sequence of them playing paddle, keeping in mind the way they shot Moonlight, the way this was lit. So I wanted to have a very cool sequence. Looks like everything is lit by the moon. So I picked a very gloomy kind of morning because I could have actually picked something like a blue hour shoot, but then I actually thought like, if it's blue hour, it's a pallet cord, light's gonna be on. So it's a bit tricky and also blue hour in Bali, it's super fast. So what I did, I picked up a very gloomy morning, very cloudy morning, very basic, you know, nothing much happening with the light. And then I put the white balance down in my camera to make it look very blue. And then I shot, not underexposed, but I shot pretty low in exposure. So around zero instead of, you know, plus one, plus 1 1.5. And I created this very nice look by bringing down the exposure in post that I think it actually looks very, very cool. And this is actually a technique that it's used in a lot of movies, which is you shouldn't day, but then you kind of bring down the exposure to make it look like it's nighttime. And I think it worked pretty, pretty good. All right, for this one, I'm gonna do the same exact thing we did before. And for ease, I'm just gonna copy and paste the free grade onto here, and then we're gonna play around with it. So I'm gonna disable the mask, I'm gonna keep the turquoise, probably, yeah, probably keep the color. Actually, I'm gonna reset the color. And we're gonna turn up the look for now, and then we're gonna hop into primaries and just kind of reset everything that we used before so that this should only be, yeah, okay. This should only be the curves. And now the first thing we want to do is bring down that exposure because we want this scene to be kind of dark nightish. So we bring down the whole exposure without making the scene too crushed up. This kind of looks nice. Then we're gonna go into the turquoise and for this example, we're gonna put it to one because I think that would work. Yeah, that works pretty well. Color, we want pretty much everything to be onto the blue side of things. So we're kind of moving all of the colors a bit towards the blue. And we desaturate things a little bit as well. All right, now we're gonna turn on our look. And in the look is where we kind of do everything, but first we're gonna remove our mask because we don't need it. Halation and grain can stay there because it's kind of the same for everything. So now we go in the look and the look we want to pretty much turn off everything. And this is back to normal. Basically, we want to bring everything to a very bluish look. Add a bit of red, add a bit of blue. Adjust everything with our green sliders. And then we're gonna add more blue, and then we're gonna add more blue. And we're gonna chase the look that we want. This is very, very personal, I feel, because this can go so many ways, but I feel like this looks pretty good. So now we're gonna go back into primaries and all we're gonna do is take the gain, bring it down. Take the, the gamma, bring it down. Take your lift, bring it up. We need to lift up a little bit. So now this looks, it looks pretty good, but it kind of still looks like we just brought things down in post. So we wanna make sure that our exposure, it's kind of like, fitting the situation. So I'm actually gonna add now a mask here. And in the mask, what I wanna do is enhance the fact that the light, it is coming from this way. So we want kind of like a moonlight coming from that way. So I'm gonna use this mask over here like this. And we're gonna feather the sh out of it. And just bring up the shadows a tiny bit. Just literally a tiny bit. And then we're gonna feather it even more. And just drag that across the frame so that we have a nice, even kind of look. And then in our look, I actually kind of want to add... All right, so we're gonna go into our color space transform and this is everything before it comes out. So the problem with this scene right now is is a little bit too kind of bright. So we're gonna bring down the exposure 
to maybe 45 or even 40. Yeah, I think 40 is kind of cool. And then we're going to bring down this one again, the shadows in our curve. And just going to play around until we're pretty happy with our look. I think this is pretty cool, actually. And here we go. So this, you know, this looks like it's been shot at night or around blue hour. Speed up things for the second example. What I'm going to do is take the de-answer from here and come over here, delete the halation grain and then just copy the dehancer, remove the look. And now we're gonna go into dehancer here and we're gonna play around with what works good. Ooh, Kodak Aero Color is one of my favorites as well. And then we can just play around with the color that looks amazing. That looks incredible. Now for the third one, we're just gonna use a bunch of shots that I got recently in Bali, just as I was kind of, you know, driving around doing my thing. And I'm gonna pretty much color grade them to make it look exactly like the outdoor scenes from Beef, for example. And then we're gonna use some nighttime shots from Thailand, from Bangkok specifically, to make it look like the night shots from Moonlight. So let's dive right into this Da Vinci color grade little tutorial again, and show you guys how I got to these results using the Hanser and also using a free way. So for this one, we're gonna copy and paste everything we did before. And it's gonna look horrible, obviously, so we're gonna reset all of our things over here. No need to have these on, there we go. We are gonna just take off the Hanser and you can see how, what is affecting. I think for this one, like a Coda Gold will look very cool. Yeah, that's the one. And then we're gonna go around, create an S curve to just create like better colors throughout the, the shot. And then we're gonna bring those oranges up, this blue down. And then we're gonna bring blue down, orange up. And then we're gonna bring the blue up in the shadows. So this already looks like an incredible look, to be honest. And we can kind of remove a mask, I think, or actually make it like this. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And then we can check our turquoise, what effect is doing to the image. And I think it's a little bit too much in this example, so I'm gonna bring it down to maybe 0 0.4. And then I'm gonna go back to our look over here. Doo, doo, doo. We're pretty much chasing this very, cinematic orange look so for example this is a bit too red for what we're going for so i would go here and reset everything and then bring those yellows to the oranges bring those reds to the oranges just to create a look make that intense look bring those blues to the turquoise a bit more And then we play around a little bit more with this. And this is starting to look very nice. This actually looks pretty nice compared to kind of the scene we wanted to achieve. So yeah, this looks amazing. Another way you can kind of get there is simply by doing this. This is log. This is one node. I'm gonna go into LUTs. I'm gonna go into the complete LUTs. And now you can reach a very similar look by just using my one-click LUTs. This is not a plug, actually. This is a plug, because I deserve a plug in one of them, too. And this LUT works for pretty much everything. This is one of my favorite. And you can literally see how I can just literally delete this. Boom, boom, S-log LUT, done. I can literally go into this one, delete, boom, S-log LUT. I just this up, just this up, boom. Copy and paste that one around, wherever you want. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. So if you wanna check out my lats, the link below, 40% off, and yeah. And 
that's all for this one guys i hope you enjoyed this video i absolutely love every single one of these movies these production company a24 comes up with and i would strongly recommend you to watch them all of them <laughs> if you haven't yet i actually just started beef and uh, it's pretty cool series to be honest on netflix and i would 100% recommend that too and I'm not gonna lie a lot of the films a lot of the series I watch are not really you know if I don't love the story I just watch them for the cinematography and beef it's a perfect example it's actually a funny kind of series but the cinematography is stunning so thank you for sticking around see you guys soon